Anyway, I was reading today, um, talking, talking with my friend, my friend referred to me, we're talking about carburetors and fuel injection and fuel efficiency and all this other stuff. And yes, this Ninja 250 2009 is not fuel injected. Yeah, you have to baby it a little bit. You can see like, I have a choke and all this other stuff. And we're discussing the the differences and what happens on a cold start. I, I for one, warm up my fuel-injected vehicle before taking off, and I warm up this vehicle before taking off. I just think that's a good fact for anything. Um, a computer, essentially, uh, 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 more of a computer, uh, oh, you know what, I was wanting to get gas here, and I made the mistake here, you're doing the, that's okay. So, like fuel injecting, you have your whole controller with the nozzles and the, and the throttle bodies going in, and then you can have like single point or multi-point, single, uh, single being your control for, um, each cylinder and then your multi-point each direct injection one-to-one -one ratio um, so yeah I, I, I warmed this, this bike up um, I just uh, I sit there a couple minutes or whatever I've read that then, then we got into the people like riding with the, the choke wide open so the fuel mixture is extremely rich which uh, that's a that's a no-no you don't need to do that essentially a carburetor you have like a a shaft that controls the amount of fuel in it, and then of course when you when you um, rev it up, you're introducing more air and creating more pressure. That's not the you're not essentially increasing the fuel with a carburetor. Then you have of course the idle shaft, which when you shut it all the way off, there's enough air and fuel going into a specialized shaft to keep your engine at idle and that's what the whole point of a on this bike at least you have a manual um, valve that you can open and close that helps your idle all right let's get some gas I love the gas mileage on this, that was a really, like, like I said, the whole point I got this motorcycle. It gets close to uh, 60 miles per gallon. Sweet. Versus my SUV. <laughs> that's a joke. That's a joke of a fuel economy. But I didn't get the SUV for that. I got the SUV because of a, a big family. And nothing's better than fitting everybody in the car rather than looking like a clown car, right? Let's see. Good old American Express here. Gas prices today. I don't know. There's probably three the same things. This is an expensive station. Yes. Okay, well. Yeah, I said yes. Just gonna go ahead and start feeling the damn thing. Oh, I didn't want this. No, no, no. Good. I was pushing 87, which I put in my SUV. versus 93 in this. I add fuel treatment to my SUV but I just don't want to pay the higher prices on that thing. There we go. A 
11 bucks. You, you see? 11 bucks. <laughs> you cannot beat that. Receipt available inside. Yeah, whatever. Now, my SUV, huh, that thing, you're looking at 80, 80 something bucks. Depends, of course, on the price, but man, that thing gets expensive. I have friends with trucks pay $90 a tank for theirs. If you can believe that. Oh, key's stuck. Hello. Make sure everything's zipped up. Anyway, so yeah, throttle bodies and fuel injection. Yeah, it's old school. I mean, th th carburetors and fuel injection. I understand that carburetors are considered old school and all this other good stuff. I haven't had this bike, though, stall out on me from a cold start. And I find that I don't even have to... Um, have the choke wide open either. And it starts right up. I would tell you though, let's say if you start if you start the if you start it cold and you start just expecting it to run or it will it will stall on you. Um, I'm sure I could you know open up enough air into it. It's on a cold. It'll it'll just drown. It'll not drown it up. It'll stall it out. I mean you could probably run it with the choke wide open, have higher higher RPMs. But I would after a couple minutes, you make sure you turn off the the choke. But that's put. I mean just to let it warm up. What I do is, I go turn the bike on and let it warm up with the choke wide open. Go get my gear on, you know, get suited up, put the bag on the bike, and uh, turn the choke off and head out. Works out perfectly. So. Nice breeze. <laughs> you know the thing about this bike is so light though, you will get pushed around by the wind. Especially at higher speeds. You just have to get used to it. It's not a big deal. Anyway, well I'm going to call it uh, a video and I will catch you guys on the next ride.